Hey y'all, this is Sergeant Dan with Palmetto Edge, and I've got a review for you here today of this guy right here. This is the uh, Microtech Stitch. So, let me get you a close-up on it as best as I can. I'm not in my normal recording space, so I'm going to do the best I can for you guys. Come on, focus. There we go. There you go. And let's get you some size comparisons here. We'll start out with my normal two. There it is up against the Benchmade bug out. And there it is up against the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Let you take a look at that for just a second, and then we will compare it to some other common Microtechs over here. Uh, so here it is up against a SOCOM Elite. Here it is up against a Combat Troodon. And last but not least, here it is up against an Ultratech. So as you can see, this is a pretty big guy here. Um, now, specifications. Uh, let's see, specifications. Let me get them pulled back up over here. Now, I'm getting these specifications this time off of the website that I got this from, and that was um, knifecenter.com. I saw some discrepancies in specifications. Um, so I'm just giving them to you straight off of where I bought it from, okay? So, um, blade length, 3.625 inches, overall length of 5 inches, or excuse me, overall length of 8.5 inches, handle length of 5 inches. Um, it is a spear point flat grind, and it's got this swedge kind of deal going on up here. Real cool, really reinforces that tip. Um, it is, obviously, a automatic, so it's a push-button plunge lock there to lock it up and to deploy it um, anodized aluminum handles titanium backspacer pretty sure that's a titanium pocket clip could be wrong about that uh, it's hard to find info on pocket clips but it just it kind of it looks like titanium to me so if it is great if not that's fine too okay um, it is one position only carry so it is right hand tip up only uh, you do have a little lanyard hole here uh, let's see what else what else what else made in the USA of course it's a Microtech so made in the USA uh, this knife is a collaboration between Microtech and Borka Blades as you can see right there that's Borka's uh, little insignia there um, this one in particular is CTS XHP steel you can see right here um, since these have come out, they have been in XHP, 204P, and LMAX, I think. I don't think I've seen any newer ones in M390. Um, well, yeah, so speaking of newer ones, as you can see, this is a new one. Got a birthday there of March of this year, March of 2020. Um, so, yeah, that's. I think that's going to be it for specifications. So let's get into review. Um, review on this guy people there's a reason why people love this knife so much uh this thing is just an absolute beast it is a tank it is well built overbuilt uh it's it's just a monster monster of a knife um it doesn't uh, flip open so much as it just chunks open that's the best way i can explain it it's it, this big blade nice big handle real strong real strong heavy deployment there um that blade shape is absolutely wonderful um i, I just i absolutely love that blade shape it's it's great for piercing it's great for slicing great for 
all kinds of different cutting that whatever you may need this thing can probably do it um let's see what else uh, you've got just great great materials i mean it's it's a microtech if you can't tell already from watching my channel i really like microtechs um but then you also you should know me by now too if there's something absolutely wrong with something i'll say it and let you know and guys i've got no complaints about this thing um well, I take that back. I take that back. I do have one complaint about about this particular knife. Not the stitch as a whole, but this particular one. And I will get to that here in just a couple of minutes. Um, have this great triangular texturing on the handle here. Your backspacer has this jimping. You got some more up on your little thumb ramp there. Oh, another thing too. Check out this this huge blade stop here. Look at that thing. I mean, it's it's just it's wonderful. It's made to just fly open, hard and powerful. And man, this thing does. Um, it feels great in hand. It is it is ergonomically wonderful. Uh, got this extra little choil up here that has some jimping in it too. Okay, uh, where you can you can either go back on a on the blade or choke up on it. Um, if you saw my review of the Spyderco smock, that was one complaint I had about it because it was it was a lot like this. You're you're holding it way back here, and the the cutting edge is way up here. You know, a good two inches or so away from your hand. Um, I said uh, I said in that one that um, uh, you know they teach chefs in culinary school to get up here on the blade that way you know where it is and. I know these aren't chef's knives, people. I'm not stupid. I know they're not chef's knives. But that's a good principle to have in the first place, to be up there close to the blade, close to the cutting edge, so you know where you're going with it, you know what you're doing with it, you can do fine detail work. And the difference between the Spyderco smock that I complained about that with and this one is that this one gives you that option to choke up there. So you can get up there in that finger choil, get your thumb up here on this ramp, choke up on it, and now you are up close and personal with that cutting edge you you now know where it is and uh, not that you necessarily don't back here okay but i figured i'd address that because if i said i loved it about this one and hated it about that one people call me out on it so there's the difference and there's why i'm okay with it on here um let's see like i said uh great ergonomics enough texturing and jimping for me to not have to worry about whether it's going to come flying out of my hand slipping out of my hand if i'm doing anything um, let's see what else. Oh, the pocket clip. This is a cool feature that I like about Microtex. This is like a two stage pocket clip. Okay. So you've got the part right here where it makes contact with the, with the body of the knife. Okay. You get past it and then it's got this little divot right here that then provides extra resistance. Okay. Which, uh, I, I like that. I like knowing that this thing is, it's going to take a whole lot for this thing to unintentionally come out of my pocket. Um, really like that about it. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, another cool thing. It does not use Microtex pr proprietary hardware. You can take this thing apart with a Torx. All, every single screw on this thing is a Torx, so that's, that's definitely a plus. Um, let's see. Oh, this thing, I say it all the time, uh, this thing was sharp as a razor. You buy a knife, you expect it to be sharp. Some are sharper than others, and this one is definitely one of those that is sharper than others. This was wonderful. Um, right out of the box, just sharp as a razor blade, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, as you can see, it's got this little, uh, hole in the blade up here. Um, I'm sure there's probably going to be, you know, someone who isn't, uh, is new to Microtech, new to knives, new to the stitch, something like that. It's going to ask, well, can you thumb deploy it? Unfortunately not. This is not a double action, um, knife. It, best I can figure. And, uh, I would assume I'm right on this, um, with just, the weight of this and how big and thick and heavy this blade is, uh, it's there to uh, remove some weight, 
while also still looking good, okay? You don't want it to look ugly, too, so it looks good and it removes weight. But, man, if there's one thing that I could say that I wish Microtech would do, make this thing a double action. That'd be so awesome to be able to open it, you know, manually with, with that little thumb hole, but also be able to fling it open like that. So, really, really wonderful, wonderful knife all around, guys. Um... That one complaint I was talking about, for me, it's going to be, can you see it? That XHP steel. Uh, this is my first knife I've ever had in uh, XHP. You know, didn't have any complaints about it going in because I've never experienced it. Um, it is a high-end steel, uh, but my complaint about it is uh, where I live, it's hot, it's muggy, it's swampy. I'm actually having a hard time uh, keeping this thing from rusting. I am constantly having to keep a layer of oil on it. Clean, Even that doesn't necessarily do it all the time. Um, I don't really have... I cleaned it up today before record. Well, not, not right before recording this, but I don't really have any places showing really good right now. But one, one problem spot in particular is kind of up here just above the Borka uh, insignia there kind of between it and the spine is a real is a spot that I have real problems with. So um, that's really my only complaint. And like I said, it's not about the stitch as a whole, just mainly XHP steel. Uh, I mean, it's been great. It's it's held up. It's It came, like I said, came sharp as a razor, but I've only other steel I have ever had that problem with was uh, some S35VN and it wasn't it wasn't, you know, good quality S35VN, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my complaint about it is is that XHP steel is is uh, giving me a little bit of issue with wanting to get some small rust spots on it. Um, but uh, I've I've got that remedied though. I've got a I've got a 204P one on the way. <laughs> I absolutely love love Microtex 204P steel. They have probably helped make that my favorite steel. Uh, never had a problem with it. Uh, heck, my uh, my Blue Ultra Tech, uh, my LEO one that you've probably seen before if you've watched my channel, I've had to sharpen that. Th I use that thing a lot, and I've only had to sharpen it once since I've had it, and I've had it for, uh, what's this? I've had it for about a year and a half now, so really, really love 204P steel. Not a fan of XHP, uh, but that's not a knock on this, the stitch. It's just a knock on that that steel. Um, but like I said, got a 204P one coming, so no complaints there. Um, all right, but let's talk about price. Price on this thing is $379. Uh, that's, I'm not going to pretend like that's not a lot of money, okay? That's almost $400 for a pocket knife. Yes, that's a lot of money. Um, but that's absolutely more than a fair price for this one, in my opinion. It's absolutely on par with Microtex pricing. It's on par with competitive stuff, you know. Uh, it's a whole lot cheaper than the, than the Borka stitch, you know, those things will cost you $2,500, $3,000, okay? So it's it's a whole lot cheaper than a, a Borka stitch. Um, so $379, that's, that's fair. It's a lot of money, but it's fair. Uh, no complaints about that other than the fact that it's $379, okay? Um, am I happy I got it? Absolutely. freaking lootly I love this thing. It's It gets... Abs uh, tons of pocket time now. It's one that I carry on duty all the time now. Uh, now most of the time my, my three standards are actually uh, Microtex. And that would be these right here. The Stitch, Combat Troodon, and the uh, uh, Socom Elite. These are, these are three that are on me all the time. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely love it. So happy I got my hands on one. They're still hard to get your hands on. Um, would I buy it again? Well, heck, I already have. <laughs> I've already, like I said, I've already bought a 204P one. Um, so, yes, I would buy it again. And 
uh, let, let me address this too right now. I meant to mention it earlier. This is the only configuration they come in right now, is stonewash blade, black handles. If you're familiar with the stitches past, they've come in full serrations, partial serrations, camouflage, black DLC blades, tons of different blade steels, okay? Right now, uh, the only variant in the stitches is just the blade steel. Uh, other than that, they're all stonewash, all just black anodized aluminum handle. They all look like this right now, but they're, they are supposedly going to be doing like they did in the past and making several different ones. And uh, as long as I can safely swing it, I'm going to be getting more stitches, guys. So there you go. Here it is. Microtech stitch. Guys, great blade. If you can find one, if you can afford one, you won't regret it. Guys, thank y'all for watching. Um, I just recently hit 1,000 subscribers, so thanks so much for that. I've got a giveaway going right now. Uh, it'll be up for seven days past the past the day that the video was posted. Uh, so it will be up until, let's see, today's the, let's see, today is, today is July 3rd. The um, video or the, the giveaway will be going until uh, the 10th. Uh, I'll shut it off at 11.59 p.m. on July 10th. So make sure you go check out that video and get in on that. I've also just launched a Patreon, so make sure you go check that out. It's www.patreon.com slash Palmetto Edge. I've got a going to be doing some knife projects over there, some behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, you know, so if you're fine with a monthly monetary contribution, you can get access to that stuff. But, guys, again, thank y'all so much for watching here, and y'all have a good one.